Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Mats channel and welcome to this video all about loci. Now let me tell you what loci is before we start doing some questions. Loci is when you have a predefined distance around a specific point or object. So to give you a real life example, when we go camping, the kids like to play swing ball. Now swing ball is all about a ball, it's on a string and it's attached to a pole. They hit that ball with a racket and the ball swings around the pole. Now at any given time, when that ball is swinging around the pole, it is always the same distance away from the pole. Now the path that the ball makes as it goes around the pole is called a locus of points. And so that's what we're going to be doing today in this lesson. You're going to need ruler and compasses for this one. So here is our first example of what we're going to draw a locus of points around. It is a point. And we want a locus of points that's five centimeters away from that point. So this is like our swing ball example. For this one, you grab your compasses and your ruler and you measure five centimeters. Make sure the compasses start at zero and keep this as precise as possible. Take your time when doing this. This is not a rush. You gotta take your time and measure it. So make sure you get it exactly bang on and then we draw a circle around. So at any point we are on that blue circle, we're always five centimeters away from point A. And that's how you draw a locus of point around a point. Now, let's go on to the next one. The locus of points around a line now. So you'll notice that the line has got two end points and those two end points are going to need circles. So I'm going to draw a little bit bigger than a semicircle. This time it's four centimeters away. So grab your compasses, measure four centimeters. Remember to start at zero again. And then we're going to go to our first point and we're going to draw just a little bit bigger than a semicircle there. Make sure the compasses don't change. And I'm going to now go over to the next, the, the other end of the line. And then I'm going to do the same thing, just a little bit bigger than a semicircle. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I am going to go to the top there. Make sure you're on the tippy tippy top of the circle and then I'm going to pull a line connecting the two tops like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing down the bottom here. Make sure you bang on the tips and draw straight over. And just like that, this is done. Let's move on to our next one. Now we've got a box. It's still four centimeters around this, well, not box, a rectangle, still four centimeters around. So I am going to need curves on each of the corners. So get your compasses out, measure four centimeters again. Let's go to our first corner there. We're gonna need just a quarter of a circle. We don't really need more than that. Go to the next corner just there. Now, once we finish doing all that, we're gonna take our rulers and join for all of the horizontal and vertical bits. Don't worry about the overspill bits on the, on the circles or, or the parts of a circle, that is totally okay. All right, let's move on to our next question. So now what we're looking at, three centimeters. So get your three centimeters on your circle, on your, sorry, your, your compasses. Then we go to that one corner. We're going to need just a little bit bigger than a semicircle on this one. So that's good. Then we're going to need quarter of a circle here again. But this time I'm gonna go over and I'm just gonna make a quick little mark there. The reason why I'm gonna make that mark is because I need a horizontal line to go across. So I might need that mark. I don't know if I'll need it yet, but I'm just putting it there as an insurance policy. And then we're going to go up here now, get to the top of that, and then we put our semicircle in. All the while, make sure that the compasses don't change. 
and so that's it so i'm gonna grab my ruler and let's get some bits and pieces sorted so the bottom so i'm just gonna put a line there okay boom that's it now like i said realistically we don't really need that horizontal line but this is now done so we got two more to go now you've seen this one before this is a locus of points between two points it needs to be equidistant now i've talked about equidistant before in in my previous video link up at the top but anyway um let's go and jump straight into it so now if i want equidistance what i need to do is bisect the distance between these two um these two points and for this one i'm going to need an arc up here i'm going to need an arc somewhere down there make sure the compasses don't change and did you notice i did not use my ruler because i didn't need to use the ruler in this case there's nothing to measure here and then i need to scribe an arc there and then i need to scribe an arc at the top there and all i need to now do is take my ruler try and get this as precise as you possibly can and those um, that's my line that's equidistant between A and B. So at any point in time, anywhere on that line you go, you will always be the same distant, uh, distance away from A and from B. And our final question for today to finish off this video. Draw a locus of point that is equidistant from AB and AC. So for this one, if it's equidistant between two lines, you need to bisect an angle. Again, I spoke about that in my last video. So AB and AC. So that means we need a, um, a bisect an angle at A because that's the repeated point. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go to A, scribe an arc there. I'm going to go where the two lines cross the arc. We're going to bisect an angle in this case. And then we go to the other end and bisect that angle. Once we've got that, we take our ruler and then we go straight down the middle, straight through the middle there, and we draw the line. Now, that line I have just drawn is the same distance from the line AB and the line AC. If you go anywhere on that line, you'll be the same distance away. All right, did you get that? If you did, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed before. Also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. I hope you enjoyed the video, but for now, until I see you on the next one, peace.